Well, welcome back, everyone. We thank you for taking your time to watch this week's episode, which finds us at the very tail end of Mike and Andrea's visit aboard Va. It's been absolutely amazing having them aboard and getting to show them this very special place, which seems to have just about endless beauty and amazing sights to show off and to explore. Enjoy! Well, we've moved anchorages. We left that upper one, had a nice quick little sail because they're like six miles apart. And it's so different down here. That one is beautiful sand beaches, but the water clarity is pretty poor. And our friends are leaving tomorrow. Mike and Andrea are leaving tomorrow. And this is where the shuttle picks them up, takes them up to the north. It's about a 30 mile trip. So we send them up on a power boat because they make it in about an hour. And we've got sharks all over. The water here is just, this. that's why you come here to this one is the water diving and then you go there to relax on the beach so we've got a couple days here then we bounce back and forth we'll be here for about three weeks until the group are spawning but sadly it's their last day no. No. so we are going to do one more dive today though here in the pass and check out some more of these dang sharks they're so pretty i just love them love them they're good they're, they're, oh, yeah. they're everywhere Oh, hello, you. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, did you see how oh. quick he turned? Oh, my gosh. That was... That was fast. Prey. Predator. Prey. What? We've got four down. This is a family. There's wow. a really dark one. Oh, yeah. They come a-running. That's like the dinner bell. Dinner bell. Hi, buddy. So you guys, the idea generally when friends are aboard with us is to use up just about all of our everything, energy, air, fuel, water, food, booze, etc. And then send them home exhausted, but with full hearts and a lifetime of memories. And these two were more game for abuse than most. So that's what we did. We just squeezed just about every last drop of fun out of our time together, which at this point was only one last day. Yeah. Travel day. Travel day. Oh, there it is. Travel day for the bears. We've had a wonderful time with them, and now they have to fly all the way back to Toronto. And none of us slept very well last night. <laughs> no. No. And Nothing. you guys still have a full day in Tahiti of exploration. Yes, our flight from Tahiti doesn't leave until midnight. Tonight. Tonight. So 18 hours from now. Okay. <laughs> is our big flight. Oh, oh boy. Yes. She's locked and, and that's loaded. It. I really don't want to get wet on this ride. Don't do it. Got my the next, goggles. The next leg is uh, going to be a big one. Yes, big one. Love you guys. I feel like you're a little You're safe? I know. Okay, you're like, oh, you're a little bit in the way? No, we left your fridges empty, but our hearts are full and so are our livers. <laughs> oh, guys, oh, say goodbye. Oh, oh, Mike, you might get wet on that side. Oh, bye, guys. That was a wet ride coming back. I'm glad we were going that way. Are they all sorted? Yeah, they're all sorted. Good. What a fun, fun time, man, but I need a nap. <laughs> we just woke up. <laughs> I know. I need a couple days recovery, I think. Yeah. From all the excitement and all the stuff we did. I don't want to do anything for a couple days. I don't, I don't know. Maybe a bunch of boat work. Of course. You got the energy for that. Wow, that was so much fun. Um, 
We got them off on the shuttle. They're zooming across the atoll, 30 miles to the north. I'm so glad we don't have to take them because it'd be no. beaten right into the wind. Tough. We thought we were going to get a full day worth of rest before something very exciting happens, but we just found out that uh, they're arriving rest. today. We don't <laughs> get a rest. They're showing up in just a few hours. <laughs> it's another channel. I don't know. You may have heard of them. Parlay Revival. I don't no, know. No, no. Pretty small. <laughs> Pretty small no little channel. Deal. Yeah. But they're but, arriving today. <laughs> yeah, they're here. And so we've been in touch with them and excited to meet back up with those boys, that crew. I think we should go back to bed. Real quick and wake up before right before they, they get here. I yeah. completely agree. Let's do that. Uh, I need to sleep. I need to clean this up first. Yeah, okay, good luck. You do that, I'm going to bed. All right, the parlay party is here, Woo! and I think we got maybe an hour of sleep, so we're ready. <laughs> yeah. But we are going to kind of meet them in here because they're not exactly coming in at slack tide. And we're going to show them where a sunken mooring ball is so they don't have to deal with anchoring in this yep. area. We've got some insider information. A little bit, a little bit. Just help them out. Don't go this way. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Imminent death. Do you want the ball or you want an anchor? It's free. It's free. But it's solid? Yeah, it's what we had last year. It's good. Okay. Do you mind if I film? Do you mind if I film this? Like really up close to what's happening? You know, I'm sure they were tired from the passage they just made, but not tired enough to pass on visiting our little local watering hole. And after all, it's almost the only one in the 500 mile stretch between the Marquesas and Tahiti. early for the camera. But why? We got parlayed. <laughs> yeah, we got really drunk at the bar. Or we got semi-drunk at the bar, and then instead of being smart, responsible adults and going home and having dinner and going to bed, instead what we did was we went to Parlay Revival and got super drunk. I would say not everybody got super drunk. Who? Dogs were the only ones that weren't super drunk. I wasn't super drunk. Okay, we just got drunk. We just got drunk. And now it hurts. Because it's been like 11 or 12 days of just go, 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 do, 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 drink, drink, drink. Is it time to detox? It is definitely time to detox and, and maybe just, yeah, detox. Not drink, not party mm -hmm. for a bit. 
Yeah, we'll see about that. I know because there's Parlay here and now Dallas is coming here soon. It's a rough life, people. I mean. <laughs> yes, it has been a little rough, but we have had back-to-back -back guests for a little while. In the belt. You guys don't have this under control by then? <laughs> and we don't have guests for a while. And the hope, the hope was to just get back to our lives and to the routine. But no, these other people just had to show up. No, <laughs> no I'm really excited, actually. But, man, oh, that was rough. I think I'm more sore from the dinghy ride back than anything. Oh, yeah, the freaking dinghy ride back. We might as well have been driving under a waterfall. Completely. <laughs> no, or through rapids. You know what was funny is we we all wore, we, <laughs> we all went to the bar wearing our wet weather gear. And we Parley is like, at. look at these freaking guys. Because we were going downwind to the bar. And then they gave a shit. And on, on the way home, we were going upwind. And it didn't matter what you were wearing. We were all completely soaked. But it was funny that we got back to their boat. And they're like, all right, sorry. We get it. We get the wet weather gear. <laughs> that was fun. That was a blast. Anything else? No, that's it. Cut. <laughs> Yes. What's going on? We are going diving and we're gonna, um, we get to take the parlay crew out so kind of treat them to a dive because, yeah, we're gonna use all our gear to get them in the water. We've been bragging about this so much that now we have to show that we're not lying that it's really that incredible. Which it is. It is. Good thing we have a lot of dive gear. We have so much gear, yeah. Yeah, I think we're set on the gear, <laughs> which is a good thing because they need some setup. So, alrighty.
Owen's like trying to hold it. Who is this? <laughs> Jamie? <laughs> <laughs> finishing some little wiring things that I've been wanting to clean up and do a better job at and just little projects that I'm finally getting to plug away at since we don't have guests and this is my time to work. <laughs> <laughs> yes it is. Um, well you're gonna have to stop that. Oh? Yeah. So yeah you're gonna have what are to we gonna do? postpone boat projects yet again. <sighs> I'm never gonna get this done. Oh come on! But we're in paradise. You can do I know, that like I know. another it's so time. It's so hard to work crucial. like this. It's so hard to work like this. It is. It's paradise here. We've had a load of fun. We've had back-to-back -back guests, and this has kind of been the only time we've had no one on the boat for a minute. And then parlay shows up, <laughs> <laughs> which is fine. We love it. We're excited. We're really excited to just hang out with them and have some beach bonfires and so is that the play. Plan? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we pretty much have this whole place to do whatever we want to do. Okay, we're <laughs> never going to get this done. He truly enjoys boat work so much that it's just hard to peel him away from it. <laughs> Done. So we are gonna probably head into the beach a little, a little bit, and find some wood and get ready for a little beach bonfire. You sure everything's done? Yeah. Good morning, good morning! Hey, we had a lovely time on the beach last night with Colin and the Parlay crew. And we kind of came up with a little bit of a crazy idea. Yeah, maybe not so crazy, but just yeah. kind of fun thing to do today since we're all heading in the same direction about yes. the same time. We were discussing hull speeds of boats and which one's faster. And the only way to really test that is if they were side by side with the exact same sail up. So, so <laughs> uh, we were telling Colin last night, we happen to have two, two identical, identical sails. sails. Um, and we were going to give them one and we we're going to fly ours and we were going to just see who wins. <laughs> yeah, so we've, uh, we're going to have to dig it out from down below under the bed yep. and, uh, and get uh, it over to them and they'll put them. it into a sock and, and we'll so see who's faster. <laughs> we will see, yeah. <laughs> they have a Lagoon 450 and we have a Fontaine Pajot 44. 44. So, so it's real, real close yeah. in, in size and uh, weight, I think, for the most part, other than they, they're carrying a lot more people than we are. They've got a lot more people. They have so a we'll four-cabin boat and we have a three-cabin boat. So but I don't know. We'll see. We'll definitely see. It's Lagoon perfect against conditions. Fontaine. <laughs> These conditions are perfect to yeah. do this because we're inside the lagoon. And so the seas are flat, yeah. we're not going to be dealing with any sort of currents or swells. Yep. And uh, yeah, just downwind it to the next anchorage. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Let's go. Bye. Right. And, <laughs> stop it. Oh, just, how many more pillows do I need? <laughs> oh. 
Oh dear, <laughs> I might need your help. Yeah, totally. This is challenging. Okay. Crazy news. It's not in here? Not in here. What did we do with it? It must be in the other bed storage. <laughs> that one's so much easier to get I thought we into. labeled everything. We <laughs> did. That doesn't stop us from being stupid. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. You did put it in the front one. On to the next bedroom. Because we have so many bedrooms. <laughs> oh, shoot. All right. Got to get in there. Got it? Oh, fuck. No, I don't. What happened? Pull up real quick. Pull up. Right. Abort, abort, abort. Abort, abort. I just didn't put the plug in it. Oh, no. Honey. Hey, you want to go plug it? Give it a second to drain. All right, round two. We won't sink this time. I hope. Oh, very dramatic. What's dramatic? Wait, what are me? We have a delivery! Delivery! Precision oh, style. We get yep. the old one, do we? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah. We get the old one. <laughs> we have the original one already ready to go. <laughs> getting those pre-race jitters. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so nervous. That's what you do oh. before the race? Yeah, it's a pre-race, pre-game pee. Pre-game pee? Are you nervous? Are you nervous at all? No? Might be. I'm really excited. I think we have a little bit of an advantage point because um, it's our spinnaker and we know how to, you know, we have it rigged up the way we like it on our boat. Yeah. They're and uh, they're just reconfiguring. Oh yeah, I'm a little nervous. Oh. We'll see, we'll see. Yep, sorry to do this to you guys, but we just flat ran out of time. So check back in next week for the conclusion of the great Parlay Va Showdown Downwind Spinnaker Race thing. All right, cheers, guys. Have a great week. We're going to do our best, no doubt about that. But what do you guys think? Like, is it going to be us that wins or Parlay? Given the, all the information you guys know about both of our boats, let us know who's going to win. <laughs>